time to turn things up. This pre-workout combination of Expedite and Aerobatine is the fat attack stack from Snack. I usually take both about 15 to 20 minutes prior to my workout. It's the perfect time to get after it. Gotcha. Not comparing the fighters, but I truly, truly expect this fight to, to reflect an old fight of Hagler versus Hearns, where there was nothing but punches flying everywhere, and the fight ended in a vicious knockout. And I truly expect this fight to end the same way. In Tank's case, without a doubt, Javante Davis is the most exciting fighter in the entire world. He's also one of the biggest attractions in the entire world. He's also one of the best fighters in the entire world. And because it's no secret that Roley has let it be known that he's the troll king. You know, so for, for quite some time, Roley has been trolling Tank, and I'm sure on the night of December the 5th, Tank will be looking to do any and everything he can to finally shut Roley up. In Roley's case, Roley is a very, very explosive fighter. Anytime he steps in that ring, he's looking to get his opponent out of there. You know, he's a guy that he never lacks confidence, and he's very confident come December the 5th that he's gonna get the job done. He's told me, he's told Floyd, He's told Al that he's knocking Tank the fuck out on December the 5th. So the way I look at it, like I said, the fans are the winners when it comes to something like this. You know, in Roley's case, again, he's a, he's a, a tremendous puncher. He's a big, big lightweight. And he's very, very strong. But one thing that Floyd Mayweather has always taught me from day one, he says, everybody can dish that shit. But can you take it? So when, in this case, when you have two tremendous punchers, there's no way, humanly possible, that this fight doesn't end in a knockout. So tune in. December the 5th, expect a knockout. Um, I, thought I, I thought I was done with this part, but two great fighters. And when I say great, I mean every time they go out there, they produce. Tank um, was a young kid from Baltimore who had a dream. He'd been through a lot. He'd been through a lot of ups and downs. And um, he fought his way to the top. So, I mean, you, you have to commend this kid for that. No matter what the media says, no matter what the people say, he earned his stripes. Day in and day out, he go out there and he produce. And that's what it's really about. It's about producing. A hell of a training team. I can't, you know, I have to take my hat off to his team. Calvin and uh, the headbangers, you guys have, you know, Barry Hunter has done a tremendous job, you know, with so many different fighters in uh, the DMV area. A um, lot, of, lot of talented fighters from that area. And I believe Tank is the number one fighter from that area. He's one of the best fighters in the world. But then the guy that he's facing right here, Roley, he said he want to be the best. He want to fight the best. So come December 5th, we're going to match these two guys, and it's going to be one hell of a fight. You know, I take my hat off to Roley and his team. Roley is, is tough. He'll fight anybody. He'll spar anybody. Uh, so that's why this is a very, very intriguing matchup. Um, Roley wants the best. Roley feels like he's the best. And one thing about Tank is he's doing record-breaking numbers. And I told him in due time, you know, when I was, me and Tank was uh, uh, in Miami, you know, uh, bike riding on a yacht, just, you know, just en enjoying life. I told him, you know, the same way, I, I, you know, I, I'm selling out stadiums, you're gonna do the same thing. And selling out arenas, you're gonna do the same thing. But you have, you have to have patience. He had patience, in, and that's what we're doing. 
I mean, um, in the lightweight division right now, we don't have, um, we have guys with great names, but not drawing power. And one thing about Tank, he has drawing power where he, um, we went to Atlanta, you guys seen what we did. We was able to go to Baltimore. You seen what we, we was able to do. Now we're in LA and um, LA needs some entertainment. So December 5th, we're gonna have entertainment. And um, both of these guys, Roly, hell of a puncher, knockout artist. And um, every time we went to Roly and we presented an opponent, we said, what about this guy? Do you want to fight him? Absolutely, give him to me. No excuses, whereas we had a lot of other, other fighters that's under the Mayweather Promotions banner as well as PBC uh, promotion banner that's always, no, I don't want to fight this guy. Oh, I don't want to fight this guy. Roly is a guy that said, I'll fight anybody, it doesn't matter. So he talked his way up on this fight and he, earned, he didn't just talk, he earned his stripes. Um, some guys, it takes 30 fights, 40 fights uh, to match up with uh, some of the best. With Roly, it didn't take that long. With Tank, it didn't take that long. And I just wanna say, I'm proud of both fighters, as well as the people that's behind the scenes that was able to put this fight together because we have to work together as a team. I didn't do this by myself. Just like for me to get to where I got to in my career, I didn't do it by myself. So I have to commend my team and everybody that's behind uh, the GD, uh, GTD promotions that's working with Tank. And that's the ultimate goal for him to build his brand. So I take my hat off to GT, uh, GTD uh, as well as Showtime. I commend Showtime when I first, um, I, you know, I had my career, so I don't have to talk about uh, what I can do or what I've done. It's all about Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roly. These guys are tremendous. I'm, I'm happy. I want to say, Leonard, I take my hat off to you. Um, doing a, a hell of a job, you know. When I'm traveling around, when I'm on my jet, traveling the world and doing other things and doing, uh, getting involved with other businesses, somebody still has to run the the day-to-day -day business for Mayweather Promotions. That's what these fighters don't understand or these fighters don't know. Um, Tank is the same way. Tank can fight anybody. He's the same way. When I'm in a boxing gym, we're in the gym training, it could be a light heavyweight. Tank like, oh, I'll box him. No, Tank. <laughs> Tank. But Tank, I take my head off to you. I'm proud of you. Um, we still growing. Nothing happens overnight. You, you're still growing, and you got the potential to surpass me. Um, in due time, we'll see. Um, the ultimate goal in boxing is for records to be broken. So it's, it's so many legendary champions that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. And I commend all the champions before me and all the champions to come. Um, do I want to see my records broken? Absolutely. I'm not like that. Like I always say, the greatest thing about my career was being able to, what I did when, when my career was over. I made smart investments. That's the best thing about my career. And I had fun in the fight game, but it's all about these young guys right here. These guys are the future of boxing. And um, like Leonard said, when I was in the back, uh, Leonard, Leonard said, um, he, don't see, he don't see this fight going the distance. Neither does I. Um, I just want to commend both, both sides, the coaches, um, the promotion team for helping me put this together. Uh, two undefeated fighters, two knockout artists, two champions, December 5th. Hopefully I see all you guys there. Thank you. His trainer, Bullet Cromwell. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? I know everybody think what the popular people say and what the media says about who's a champ, but the champ wasn't ever born a champ. He had to rise, too. And just like a young lion, Roley's ready to rise, too, like Simba did. You understand what I'm saying? One thing I want to say that I am an L.A. cat, 18 years in L.A., Washington High School, John Muir, Fauché, Melo. You know what I'm saying? 
When we come back here, we're fighting for a legacy. We're not fighting for a belt and just money. We're fighting for a legacy. I tell that to Roley. I tell that to his family. Javante Davis is standing in your way of changing your family and your legacy. We got a job to do. Murder, murder, murder. Kill, kill, kill. That's how we train. I don't care about pure boxing. I don't care about any style. Because in this fight game, one thing I've learned, karate, street fighting, and boxing. I put it together. And that's why with a puncher with that much power and that, that much grind and grit, it's a perfect match in heaven. Calvin Ford, a lot of respect for you, brother man. And your team, Tank, great fighter. I love knockout, so I gotta love Tank. But I love him more. Roley's next up, WBA champion, and the new WBA champion, Roland. Roley. All right, in the corner of Gervonta Davis, the respected head coach, Calvin Ford. Thank you, thank you, coach. Roley, love you, boy. Keep talking, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of that night, we're gonna see you still be talking that night. I don't train Tank for knockouts, get what I'm saying? I train him for the distance. Do the math. He can get you from 1 to 12. So stay sharp. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back in L.A. Um, what can I say? We all, Calvin was just talking about years of riding, even from the amateurs since he was about eight or nine years old. Um, Y'all know what we come to do, you know what I mean? Mad respect to the other side. Bring your A game, I know you will. Definitely we're gonna bring ours. We was talking about, this brother said where he was from. We from a little place in DC called Southeast. Look it up. And the same thing with Baltimore. So, we've been born to stuff like this here, man. And uh, like y'all said, this fight will not go the distance. Everybody's working hard. Everybody's going to be at their best. We don't want no excuses now. After it's over with, it's over with. But I got faith in mine. I know what he's going to do. From Las Vegas, coming to make a statement, Rolando Roley Romero. Man, I just want to say I'm excited to be here on Showtime. You know what I mean? I might be honestly the youngest, well, I mean, as far as like record wise, like as far as like all the YouTubers and stuff, with the exception of them, I might be the pay per view fighter with the, least, with the least amount of fights, you know? But I mean, you guys are gonna see the summer fan, I'm gonna knock this, this dwarf the fuck out. That's how it is. You hear that? I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Flat line. Flat line. You know how it is. You damn fucking scared? What the fuck am I scared of? You literally... You, man. You a stupid fucking dwarf, man. I'm telling you, man. I can't even mess with your fucking head. I can't even mess with your fucking head. It's so fucking big. like this fucking big. And your fucking little T-Rex arms, man. My dick's longer than your fucking arms. Yeah. I'm gonna knock this chump the fuck out. Like that. Gervonta Tank Davis. Uh, I just want to say, you know, thank Al Heyman, thank Mayweather Promotion, thank Showtime, you know, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm definitely uh, uh, thankful to be here, you know, uh, another day in the life, you know. That's what we do, man. This guy just here to talk. He's trying to talk his way into the fight. That ain't going to work, you know what I mean? He's scared. He can't even talk when he come up here. He just... They don't know. They ain't talk about no skills or nothing. They talk about how man, how do you punch? I ain't try to hit none of that. Where you from? We ain't try to hit none of that. We from the city. You know what was happening was in the city. You know what happened in the city. So we ain't try to hit none of that. I'm coming to fight. If it was the streets, these niggas would been smoked. And that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what I did. That's what it is. That's what it is. You trash. You trash. He, he got a fur on, it's 80 degrees on. Like, this nigga is crazy. With big ass shoes on. Like, this man is crazy, bro. Like, this nigga a clown. 
<laughs> nigga Jake Paul. It's crazy. Like it's hot as shit out here, man. But anyways, and it's, it's they never talk about no skill. They talk about power and and, and boxing. It's, okay, okay. He keeps talking about Joet. He talked about Joe had beat me twice. Okay, cool. That's when I was, what, 14 or something like that? It, come on, bro. The skills is way up to par. Niggas got to talk about something different. It's better than some damn power because we know what's coming with me. You know what's coming with me. And when you and, and when you're in the trenches, you know, you, it's cool to shoot them bullets. How you going to defend yourself when them bullets coming back? <laughs> That's my say. There you go. Gervonta, I want to start with you. You're in a unique position where your last three fights all came at different weight classes. You chose to come back to 135 for this one. Why this weight class now? Why Roly Romero as the opponent? Why not? This guy been talking. He only trying to sell the fight. That's what it is. That's what he's doing. I remember walking in Mayweather gym. He's sitting on the couch. I told him he's a bum-ass fighter. He ain't say nothing, not one word. He just trying to set a fight. He, he, he's scared, man. This, this, he's a clown. He's a chump. I'm going to show him he a chump December the 5th. I ain't come to play. I ain't come to talk. I wasn't going to do this at this press conference, but I know it's set a fight. It's set, it, 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 you know, uh, Showtime and, you know, Al Heyman, Mayweather Promotion put that a lot of money behind this, but, you know, what? it come with us, man. We, we here to fight, man. We don't do too much talking. Tank, is this personal, or do you look at Roley and the antics as as a bit of a clown, or are you taking this as a personal this, attack that you're gonna? This not this not personal. I heard uh, Leonard say it's beef, and it ain't beef. You know what happened when it, when it's beef? You know what's happening. So I ain't no beef. This business. Leave it like that. On the flip side, Roly, you've been using Gervonta's name, social media, in front of microphones long before this fight was ever signed. From your standpoint, when when did you first know? You wanted this matchup, this was going to happen, and what has fueled your dislike for Gervonta Davis? Well, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've been calling him out with like 2017, 2018, I and mean, we're supposed to spar in 20, what, 2018, beginning of 2018 sometime, what man. What happened? Yeah, and you ain't fucking you, sure. I, you ain't fucking sure. Up to the gym. You, yeah, yeah, you said fuck it. To, you said 2 p.m., motherfucker. Go I showed up at 2 fucking p.m., and I had a fucking witness right fucking there. I got messages, I got all sorts of shit. You ain't fucking show up. Both times, two fucking times, because you knew you were going to get your ass beat. Simple as that. I'm here now, December 5th. I'm here. Yeah, December 5th, you're getting knocked I'm the here. fuck out. That's cool. Simple as that. Roly, you're as unique a personality as we've seen come across boxing pay-per-view levels in some time. We can see the flashy dress. We can see your history of knockouts in the ring. It's almost a supernatural level of confidence. What fuels that? The focus on the fight. I don't know. That's just me. That's just the way I am. That's the way I was born. Just like that. What do you say to those who look at what you've accomplished and say maybe this fight a little too early? Just 14 pro fights fighting one of the best pound for pound in the world. I mean, shit. I mean, there's been world champions with, with, with less amount of fights than me and all this stuff, you know? I came into this sport at 17. That's how you I know started boxing late. Me. Came and you know what, I mean, on, I made the most out of what the hell I've done. And now I'm, what, 14-0? I'm, I'm fighting on pay I'm gonna knock, I'm going to knock Tank the fuck out. Everybody going to see that shit. And as simple as that. We would like to open up questions from the media in attendance. Or PR team. There we go. Uh, question for Tank Channel about Boxing Insider. Tank, when you were on the come-up, you were the biggest trash talker in the world. Security guards and your position in the sport. When I was coming out, you seen when I fought Pedraza. I ain't do no talking. I was on a mission. When I went in that building, I had everybody against me. And I proved that I'm, I'm that top guy. This nigga is a clown. He ain't nothing like me. That's all he do is talk. That's where he went in that talking. I won December the 5th. Hi, uh, Raleigh. This is David Avila. Um, the lightweight division is really talented. Where do you rank Tank among those lightweights and why? I'll be honest, I mean, I got my number two. I got Teofimo as number one because Teofimo has all the belts. But I mean, I got Tank as number two, so it's like that. Now, how he gonna beat? Come on, bro. 
Come on, man. This nigga is a clown. He ain't. Come on. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> nigga is a clown, bro. I don't know what the fuck the motherfucker saying. Nigga is a clown, bro. Rolly, we've seen you come out and, and not only predict a knockout, but a first round knockout. When you look at Tank Davis, where what is the the what gives you that confidence that you can finish him this quickly? I mean, he got a big ass fucking head. It's kind of gonna be kind of hard to fucking miss. I mean, he gets hit by every single opponent. I mean, little Santa Cruz is beating the fuck out of him until I mean, little was the same punch three times in a row. Fucking what? First what? Like six, seven round. Barrios was beating the fuck out of him too. He gets fucking punched by everybody. He literally get punched by everybody. He getting his ass beat by fucking 126 pounders. Shit. Sure. We'll go back to another media question. Uh, this question is for Rolly Romero. Uh, Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Rolly, um, in your previous fights, we've seen you come out and you look like you've got an absorbent amount of anger and energy. Uh, how are you going to control that based on how irritated you seem? Uh, Javante Davis being such a devastating puncher, uh, how are you going to control your emotions uh, in order to keep yourself together? Not angry, just focused. You would have picked up on skills if you was focused. Clown. Stephen Kudin and KOR Sports. Javante, uh, I'm sure you've seen all this stuff on social media, the, the pinata, that stuff. Uh, I know with Mario Barrios, his trainer said, you know, they want to use a white meat. Did you take some of the stuff that Roly's doing on uh, social media, use that as fuel uh, in camp? You've seen what happened with his coach, right? He regretted that. And his coach, he's not working on no, his, Bullet not working on no, no nothing but power. They're not working on no skills or nothing. Pack all the, the whole group up. Pack them up. Pack them up and get them the fuck out of boxing. For real. 14 and 0, 12 knockouts. There's some skill to that. Power is skill. It's not no skills to no, for him fighting bums. He ain't fight nobody like me. He ain't fight nobody like me. Look, <laughs> he is a clown, bro. Y'all see it now. Champ is right there. Everybody else gets their ass beat trying to do that shit. Everybody else gets their ass beat trying to do that shit. If you win this fight, would you have a rematch with Jackson or Marinas? We offer him a rematch. We offer him a rematch. More money here. Take the fight. He go fuck himself. Absolutely. All right. We have a final statement, Gervonta Davis, as we get closer to this fight. Sunday night, December 5th, Showtime pay-per-view. What can the fans, what can Roly Romero expect from Tank? Forget him. This for the fans, man. Uh, the fans won December 5th. You know, make sure y'all come out and support. You know, um, I'm thankful to be in this position. Once again, thank Al Hammond, Mayweather Promotion, you know, um, Showtime, you know, uh, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather personally, you know, and uh, my team, man, GTD Promotions, um, Lauren, my, you know, my personal friends and things like that, family and friends. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, people that push you in the right direction. So uh, come December 4th, you know, you're going to see an action-packed fight. And that's what it is. Showtime pay-per-view, Sunday night, December 5th. Get your tickets at AXS.com. Thank you for the media in attendance. Now we're going to take a step back and get the fighters together to pose.
thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.